Looking at it in hindsight now, I really should have picked another location because I have no idea how much longer this northern tunnel goes, but hopefully we will reach the end very soon. Anyways everyone, welcome back to Project Zomboid. And if you guys remember last time, we spent the majority of the day setting up a basic little garden and clearing out this tunnel here. We also got jumped by a couple of zombies, we made a crossbow, and we used it to a pretty good effect. And today, we're gonna be doing a whole lot more zombie killing, hopefully. How are the plants doing? They're doing pretty good. Awesome, I won't need to worry about that then. What I do need to worry about though is getting some more supplies because we went through quite a bit in order to pull off our funky little plans, right? Because if I look at my ammo count right now, we have a single bullet for our scrap SMG, which isn't gonna cut it. So I'm gonna need to craft up some more scrap metal so I can make more bullets. Thankfully, there are a couple of cheap recipes for me to use. On top of that, let's go grab some food. Alrighty, we are now satiated, which means it's time to switch on over to the recipes. We do have some scrap metal already, but I would like to get a little bit more. Anyways, with my research, I found two ways to get scrap metal reliably. For one, I can use metal sheets, and two, I can use nails. With the nails being the simplest and the easiest, as all I need to do is open them up from the box and make unusable metal from them, which then I can turn the unusable metal into scrap metal. The other way I found out though is by grabbing metal sheets, cutting them into wire with my wire cutters, and then converting that wire into unusable metal then turning that unusable metal into scrap metal just like this. Bada boom. We can make an easy six, and I think that should be enough. Hell yeah. After grabbing all of the scrap metal nearby, we now have a solid 28 to turn into bullets. Let's craft up 24 then. Giving me 240 more which isn't bad at all. Now I will say 240 rounds goes by pretty quickly with how much we shoot this thing. So I am gonna be packing a few more items before I head out. For one, I'm gonna go drop off the... Ah, military sniper here, right? Because we have around like 18 boxes of 308. So I'm gonna plan on filling up this hand cart with a bunch of weapons that I can pull out at a moment's notice. Oh, also, there's one last thing that's a little bit terrifying, which is the fact that we are running low on propane fuel. I don't think we have too many more torches, especially ones that have a lot of juice, so this entire excursion is gonna have to count for something. If not, we might just run out of resources. But yeah, we're gonna be packing the military sniper. We're also gonna make another scrap sword. Ba 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 and once we have that, I'm gonna upgrade our arsenal just a little bit more, making some nail bombs, right? Which is gonna require 25 nails, one twine, one tin can, and a little bit of gunpowder, giving me a solid five to use. I have no idea if I'm gonna use these, by the way, but if we get another scenario like we did last episode, I feel like being able to throw a bomb down there might save my life. So we have everything there. Now let's grab the ammo. Finally filling up our water bottles, grabbing a last minute meal, finishing off the day with a nice cigarette. Aw oh, man, it's the small things in life that really keep you going. And that's gonna be our entire day everyone, we are now drowsy. I mean it when I say it, crafting up all of those materials takes up quite the bit of time. Also, I need to replace my battery in which we're also running low on as well. Man, this entire series is just resource management the game, I swear. But I think we're finally ready. I'm gonna save the rest of the carry capacity of this uh, cart for the cubicles. I'm gonna go to sleep and we're gonna wake up with a brand new mindset. I will see you then. And so we have found ourselves waking up at the crack of dawn. By the way, I have no idea if it's the crack of dawn. Matter of fact, it's definitely not as it's 3 a.m., but we're underground, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, we have survived for 19 days, 18 hours, rounding up to about 20 days of survival, killing 287. Hopefully today we will get a lot more kills on top of it. 
yeah, I'm gonna go grab my cart, we're gonna go take the cubicles, and it is time to finally conquer the Northern Passage. If it goes on for any longer, by the way, I might cut my losses and just go off in this direction as well. I just, I need some kind of semblance of progress, and I really need resources bad, especially propane torches. So I'm really hoping there's something at the end of this tunnel. Maybe not a light, because I don't want to die just yet. I will see all of you guys in a little bit once I make it to the population wall. It's going to be a long, long road. Okay, wow, that was a little bit close. I reached the wall, everyone, a lot quicker at a rate that really surprised me. I almost walked into my death. Okay, we're here, though, which means it's time to kill some clickers. I can melee these guys pretty well, so I'm not too worried, but I would like to switch over to my sniper rifle if I could help it. Let's take out those four bozos first, and then I'll move over to the real firepower, right? As I really want to up my aiming skill so I'm not completely helpless when I do need to go full auto again because last episode was a little bit embarrassing for me yeah 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 I really don't want that to happen when there's like more than three zombies you catch my drift okay two more then I will start sniping hell yeah I have no idea how much range we have but we will test it out very soon Oh, also, I brought the wrong cart, dude. I, oh, okay. That's a bit of a setback. Well, I'm going to go set up the cubicles anyways, and we got to head all the way back home because I brought the wrong one. Out of all things to forget, I forgot to bring the right cart. Hindsight is 2020, I guess. And, you know, the silver lining is that we are building up our sprinting levels. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> I will see you guys in another minute. Ah, oh, hell yeah! There it is, everyone! We have gotten to level 4 sprinting. I will also say I wish Zomblid kinda had like a stat tracker system, not with just zombie kills, but with like general stuff like items looted. Not with just like zombie kills, but with other things like uh, containers looted, weapons found, and more importantly, distance traveled. Because I feel like good old Steve Thompson here has actually traveled like miles at this point of just railways, man. Even with the trolley carts, it's definitely a logistics problem, just how much I need to like lug stuff over. Also, I got tired that quickly, man. Alright, well, it's a good thing I decided to pack some water and supplies, and we can just take a quick little nap inside the little checkpoint area here. Who would have thought these small little areas here would have been such a relief for me? Okay, I'll go to sleep, and tomorrow we can begin our sniper training. And with this last cigarette, it's time to begin. Hopefully things won't go too badly for me. Also, I would have definitely forgot to loot that crowbar if I didn't just come across it then. Also, I gotta say, we are so damn fast now. I think we could actually outrun zombies at this point. But this time, we won't need to outrun them, as I'm gonna grab my good old-fashioned military sniper, and we are gonna make quick work of the undead. I'll pack a couple of boxes to make sure I'm still pretty fast on my feet. We're gonna sit right next to this small little cubicle here, so if they do come up, we can kill them. With the last thing I did is equipping my scrap SMG on my back, so if they do close the distance, we can, you know, take care of them easily. Anyways, this sniper is gonna be very accurate, and we are gonna hit some crazy shots. Holy hell, we are dunking on these undead right now. Yeah, no, I think we have found our perfect weapon right now. It has the best range out of every weapon. It's extremely fast to shoot, and I don't have to worry about getting overwhelmed because I'm so damn far away, I can see danger coming a mile away. 
And we have around 18 boxes. Okay, with this, we are gonna become a damn grizzled survivor. One headshot at a time. Not bad. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Let's keep on moving down. And I'll see if I can go through every single box of ammo we have right now. Yeah, no, these zombies have never stood a damn chance against me. <laughs> I'm just dropping them like flies. Okay, that one wasn't. That's fine. If they come in any closer, we have our favorite SMG to gun them down in close range. Nice. There is also a nice bag on that zombie that I would love to check out, which has a nice respirator and sadly not the thing I was looking for. Oh, also the belt is actually huge. I can turn that into a makeshift sling if I recall. Ah, yeah, we do, but we need level 2 tailoring, so that's not gonna happen, but we can also make leg pouches, which sound very nice to be able to store, you know, to be able to store ammo, like our 308 rounds. I was really hoping for a normal sling, though, so I could actually equip my SMG and my sniper rifle all in one. That's not gonna happen for a bit. We have three more zombies down here, four more. Yeah, let's just continue to lay on hell. One bullet at a time. Oh, holy hell! Okay, this zombie had a scout compound crossbow on his dead body. I have no idea how nice of a gun this will be, but this is probably going to be better than the crossbow that I have right now. How's the range on it? It's looking pretty damn good. Yeah, no, this is like a direct upgrade, I think. Let me go compare the two. Is what I would say if I wanted to head back. You know what? I can go do that very quick. It is extremely dark out, by the way, but we're doing all right for ourselves, I think. Anyways, let's see here. Right now, the handmade metal crossbow does about an olive green amount of damage compared to the scout, which does also olive green, but it might have more range. Let me take out the nail bombs and see. Actually, yeah, it seems to have slightly better damage and a little bit of extra range. Not really the best upgrade, but an upgrade is an upgrade. Okay, I am going to go to sleep and hopefully we can wake up when it's a little bit more bright out because right now the conditions are horrific. Thankfully, I did pack extra water so I don't have to run all the way back home to do this. New day new me. Let's get on with that kill count. That's a very bad time for the gun to jam. Did I seriously not have it loaded? I didn't. You know what? That's on me. Okay, let's gun down these other two. I guess it was better to be reminded now than later when it actually mattered. So far, the combo is working great, though. Also, free screws? I can turn those into unusable metal. Yoink those. Well, well, well. It sure is nice to see you, checkpoint number, like, three on this single railway. Still no end in sight, by the way, but we'll worry about that later. For now, we have fought our way on over. Let me make sure my magazine is loaded, my military sniper is good, and we can go check the interior of this place. Also, free digital watches. Yoink those. Check you out. Nothing good there. Okay, let's do a door flash. We're safe. Which means it's looting time. Big money. We have a police visor, another gas mask filter, and a holster. Can I actually wear the visor right now? Oh, dude. Wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn minute. That looks sick as hell. Oh, wait, it fits perfectly. Oh, dude, no way. First of all, it's cool, right? Second of all, it gives me even more bite and scratch protection on my neck. I also have to say, looting these small checkpoints is probably the highlight of my career. It's just so damn fun to check these places out. Anyways, now that we have this, I'm gonna go bring back my cart and drop it off here, and we can move up slowly but steadily. 
We still have around like five cans of corn, so we are in no rush when it comes to that. Awesome sauce. We've made it in the nick of time. We are now drowsy, hungry, and bored. Also, sad thing, I don't think I'm going to be able to wear this visor. We are a little bit stressed out, which I think is from the... whatchamacallit, cigarettes. I sure hope so, because if you look at my mask HUD right now, you can see that the visor is being calculated as the thing we're wearing for a mask, which is the last thing I would want, so it looks like we can only wear our gas mask. That's fine, though. We don't really need the extra protection. It just looked cool. Anyways, I am gonna rot inside now, smoke ourselves a cigarette, and go get some fat sleep. After a quick little bot montage, of course. Bop, 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 bop. Another day, another dollar. We were blessed enough to not have any zombies come upon me during the night, and we have gotten ourselves quite the bit of rest. We ate food, we read a couple of magazines, and I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of extra corn. We are now on day 22. It's insane how much time is passing by, and how many resources I'm going through just for the slight promise of something being on the other end, because I have no idea where it goes. It's like the biggest gamble I've ever done in my life. Our lights are on, our military sniper is equipped, and our march continues. Hopefully, we will see some kind of fruit soon. Oh my god! Oh. Okay, that's another thing that's kind of terrifying. I hate how sometimes the subway lines are a little bit closed off like that, because I didn't see that zombie until he was like right in front of my damn face. Thankfully, I was quick at my feet, and we are also just fast, so I was able to avoid a quick grab. But man, you really can't, uh, you really can't have any breaks around here. I'm gonna kill the clicker with our metal pipe, then I'll start sniping. Oh, wait a minute! We actually reached something as well! Aw, oh, hell yeah! Okay, life's looking good. Kill you. Then it's time to snipe you, five. That's gonna be another five zombies dispatched of. I will also say the problem with this scrap SMG is how prone it is to jamming. I feel like this thing has almost gotten me killed a few times, so hopefully we can find a better upgrade in the future. For now, it's the best close range weapon we have. Also, I'm so happy to see actual progress and like a different environment now, man. It's such a nice feeling. All we gotta do is push on a little bit further, though. Any cool things on these zombies? Just cologne and money. Okay, you know what? The scrap SMG is still pretty damn good, guys. I am laying some waste down right now. Also, that's a bloater. Not good. Also, what's not good is my gun jamming. Please don't do that again. Okay, kill you. How many are down there? About five or six. I'm going to back up a bit, reload my military sniper, and give them hell. And that's another level of maintenance. Oh, hell yeah, dude. We're doing all right for ourselves. This loader is dead as well. Steve is actually becoming, like, death incarnate inside of these tunnels. He's honing his craft, becoming an actual marksman, and he's surviving really well. The only thing that's gonna hold me back is ammo and resources at this point. Which should hopefully be fixed as soon as we reach the storage up there. Oh man, I'm still so damn happy we were able to, like, you know, get any bit of progress right now. Before I make any more, though, let's make sure our guns are fully loaded. Okay, cool, they are. How many more shots do we have? 122. Not bad. And we have ourselves a brand new checkpoint. Also, free digital watch. 
And a free jar of carrots. Don't mind if I take that. That's fuel for the road. Is there anything else here? No, there's nothing else. Okay, let's go check out what's inside here then. We have ourselves a propane torch. You have no idea how happy I am to see this, by the way. That's going to be so much more fuel right there. Oh, on top of it, we got another one. All right, all right. RNG is looking pretty good on my end today. Oh, we're so back. We're actually so back. There's a garden saw, even more scrap metal, metal sheets, wire, and that's going to be it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble the wire. I'm going to turn it into scrap metal. And then I'm going to make some more scrap in general with our new propane torches. There's nothing for miles out there. And I think this might be a good spot to end the episode. We really didn't make too much progress. But in turn, we've made a lot of progress on our strategies, right? Because now I know the ultimate combo is going to be the sniper rifle and SMG bit. As long as we have ammo now, we are going to be chilling. Okay, enough of that though. Let's do the bot montage. Okay, that's gonna be everything here. How close am I to leveling up my metalworking now? Oh, we are very, very close by. And now that we are done here, I don't think I'm gonna continue going down this way, this L-shaped curve. I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna head back to base, you know, refurbish, restock, restore, repair all of my stuff, and then I'm gonna follow the trail out where my base was with the double tunnels. Because the way I'm looking at this right now is I think this is like a big square right we're currently on the outside edge so if i follow this tunnel down i have a feeling we're just gonna be following the perimeter so in my opinion what would be a little bit better is because i haven't explored down that way is we go horizontally across our base down through and then what i can do is head up north and loop around thus securing the loop that's gonna be the plan and hopefully we'll have a big change of pace from what we are normally dealing with I hope so. I'm crossing my fingers as well. It's currently 4.50 p.m. We're getting drowsy. We're getting hungry. Hopefully I can make it home without too much of an issue. Though talking about that, I'm going to save the return trip home for next time. Yeah, I'm done here. We did a lot today. We've survived a few more days, and we have killed like another 50 or so zombies. Actually, more like 70 which is pretty awesome. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you guys next time. Peace the hell out, everyone.